last five to six years, the cutoffs have been increasing gradually. It's largely because of the fact that many seats are being added to the MDS pool. In last five to six years, based on the data that we have collected and based on the data that's available in BCI's official website, around 1,000 seats have been added to MDS pool, and among which 70 to 80 are government dental seats. And that partly explains why the cutoffs have been increasing marginally for the past few years. How much rank should you score in order to get into JDC under All India Quota? What if you are from general category or if you are from OBC, SC, ST or EWS? Often we get these questions like, sir, I am from so-and-so category. How much should I score or what rank should I get in order to, you know, secure a GDC seat under All India Quota? So to address all these questions, we have come up with this video. And in line with this, we have already done one previous video where we tried to present you the cutoff scores. Like how much should you score in meet MDS out of 960 in order to get into top 100, top 500 or top 1000, right? And the response to that video was really good. So keeping all those factors in mind, we're coming up with this video in which we're presenting you the cutoff ranks for various category students in order to get into JDC under All India Quota. Right? I hope it's clear. So without any further delay, let's go ahead. So as you can see in the first chart, so first and foremost, the data which is available here, is something which you obtain from MCC website. MCC's official website where we have all this information, but it, it is scattered. So we try to curate that information and try to present you in a palatable way so that you'll have an idea like how much rank should you get or how much rank should you keep as a target in order to get into JDC under All India Quota. Remember, we're not discussing about a state quota or other quotas, only All India Quota in this particular video, right? So first and foremost, as you can see, like these two dimensional columns represent students with all India ranks who are in GDCs currently, right? So in 2019, a student who scored 434 and top of it, like those who are in top 434 all India ranks from general category, their chances of getting into GDC are very high. And in 2020, this cutoff is 593. Whereas in 2021, as you can see, the cutoff dropped significantly, partly because of the extended delay in the counseling process and the seats which were remaining in All India Pool have been shifted to state pool because of the extraordinary delay. And the details have been mentioned in MCC website. And in 2022, the cutoff rank is 568 and in 2023, it is 639 and in 2024, it is 686. So based on the final round of counseling results, this is the data we could obtain from the MCC's official website. Remember, we haven't included the mop-up round or stray round results in this particular chart because only if there are any seats which are remaining by the end of final round of counseling, only they are included in stray round. So it is a matter of luck, right? That's the reason why we haven't included those results here. But anyways, I'm going to present you the mop-up round results or stray round results at the end of this video in the form of a separate table so that you'll have a comprehensive idea. So in this particular chart, those who are from general category students, now you have an idea like what rank should you score in order to get into JDC in All India Quota. I hope it's clear. Now, if we move on to the next category that is OBC. This is how the trend has been in the last five to six years. In 2019, the cutoff rank is 414. And as you can see, in 2020, it is 580. 2021, it's 518. 2022, it shot up to 882. In 2023, it is 790. And in 2024, by the end of final round of counseling, the cutoff rank is 743. Right? And for SC students, students from SC category, in 2019, it is 1776, and then it is in the range of 2000 for the past four years. Whereas in 2024, it shot up to 3000, around 3000, 3141. 
And for ST students, as you can see, it is in the range of 3,500 plus in 2019 and 2020. And in the last three to four years, it has reached a range of around 5,000 all India rank. And in 2024, it has come to around 5,262 all India rank, right? And in this particular chart, you can see the cutoff ranks for EWS category students. In 2019, we couldn't obtain the data. And in 2020, it is around 284, whereas from 2021 to 2024, it is in the range of 800 to 1,000. In 2024, it is 1,011 All India rank, which is the cutoff to get into JDC. And this particular chart represents all the categories together, right? It's a kind of cumulative presentation where you can see right from 2019 to 2024, last six years, how the trend has been for various category students, including general category, OBC, SC, ST, as well as EWS. So this gives you a comprehensive idea, like how the cutoff trend has been in your particular category over the last five to six years. And to summarize all the data, we try to present that in the form of a table as well, so that we can get an idea regarding the ranges. So as you can see, every year, we have mentioned various categories, and we have already, uh, as discussed previously, we mentioned various All India ranks, but the ones which you find in brackets, they represent the ranks based on the stray round results, which means, observe 2024 a year, for so general category student, by the end of third round of counseling, 686 All India rank is a cutoff. But in stray round, the cutoff increased to 750. So a student with 750 all India rank in stray round by a matter of luck or chance could secure a GDC. So all the ranks that I mentioned in the brackets, as you can see, uh, the bottom of the table, the ranks in the brackets represent mob of round or stray round results. So this particular table, again, gives a comprehensive idea like how the cutoff ranks have been for various category students to get into GDC under All India Quota or All India Category, right? I hope it's clear without any confusion. So finally, at the bottom of this table, I mentioned ranges and I've included last three year ranks because uh, before that, the values are too skewed to be included. So for general category students, if your ranks are in the range of 568 to 686, the chances of getting in the JDC are very high. And for rest of the category students, for OBC, the range is around 743 to 882. For EWS, it is around 800 to 1000. For SC category students, it is around 2700 to 3000. And for ST category students, it's in the range of 5,000 to 5,500. Just to give you a coherent story, like the summary of this entire video. Try or aim for these ranks, the chances of getting into JDC are obviously very high. And let me confess something. After putting so much effort into making this video and stuff, all I would suggest to you is still least bothered about these numbers. The only reason why I've done this video is because of public demand, frankly speaking. But it is against my philosophy that you should blindly trust these numbers and then set your targets accordingly and then, you know, go ahead. No, I don't think that works eventually. My philosophy and which I have been trying to promote for the past several years is the fact that, which you might have heard many number of times, Trust the process, focus on the process, and stay least bothered about these numbers or results. Because once you focus on the process, once you give your 100%, and once there is certain intensity to the process that you're undertaking, successful results will come as a natural consequence. Numbers will follow. Success will follow. Fame will follow. Money will follow. Because uh, this is something which I've observed in myself as well as in people around me, in my own experience. And if life has taught me one thing very strongly, it is this, that uh, trust the process and successful results will be a natural consequence.
amazing results will be a natural consequence. Rather than getting carried away by these numbers. See, uh, as I said, I put some effort into making this video, but in spite of that, I'm telling you, stay least bothered about these numbers. But the intention behind making this video is twofold. Number one, to answer your questions, which I keep getting. Like I've been getting these questions like for several years. So in a way, I'm answering those questions. Like what rank should you get in order to get into GDC based on previous year trend? And second, when you're preparing for an entrance exam, there is nothing wrong in having an idea regarding the trend, like how things have been in the past. Not that things will be the same in future exactly, but at least you'll have an idea. Like, okay, this is how the trend has been. So you will know like where you need to set your targets. And then no, with that mental picture, it will give you some solace and relief as I already mentioned in the previous video. And then that will, to some extent, help you stay focused on the process and give your best eventually. And Before I conclude, just keep working hard, keep working consistently, believe in yourself. And once you focus on the process, successful results will be a natural consequence. So keep this data in mind, but just don't get carried away by these numbers. Trust the process. Give your best. Out of 960, why not aim for 960 out of 960? Why not aim for All India Rank 1? Why not be the best in what you do? Aim high, and then no matter what the result is, accept the result with ease and grace and that is what maturity is all about right i hope this information is helpful in answering your questions and i hope that this information will help you stay motivated in your preparation and for any further queries or in any further assistance always feel free to get back to mail at how to be the dentist at gmail.com 24 by 7. so wish you all the best love you all